So these units, by the way, are made in Owatonna, Minnesota. So that's where these are made, made in the USA. So you can see right here, your reactivation inlet temperature is at 224 degrees. Yeah. And your reactivation outlet temperature is 122, uh, 128 degrees. So that's your temperature coming off the wheel. So the air, as it dries, it also gets heated. So that's what we're looking at there, which is actually good when you're dehumidifying the space because it'll heat up the structure and everything in there. So, so right now we're, this has got five heater banks. So it's just got a 42 inch rotor in it. And we're only using three of the heater banks right now. We don't have, the other two are staged off. So that just means the drying process is, it's not needing so much heat. You don't need enough heat, yeah. less much heat. You don't need full heat. Right. So let's look at, can we look at this real quick here? So, reactivation inlet. In this case, it's the outside air going through the filter. This shows gas, but I think it's electric, right? Yeah, this one's electric only, but we do have equipment that have gas and all. Oh, electric. there's electric heater. Yes. Yeah. Um, so reactivation inlet temperature. Correct. Going across the wheel, reactivation outlet temperature. This is the air we just read blowing out of the fan over here. So rit and rot. Right. So let's go back to this and look at it. So can you go back to that previous screen?